I grew up in uh, one of those homes where my mom was a super mom. She would make everything from scratch all the time. My mom would always say, if you want cakes, candies, cookies, whatever, she would always tell me, just make it yourself. Chazal and I lived in Japan for just over four years in Tokyo. Um, on the weekends especially, we'd go down to Motosando, which is sort of like the Champs-Élysées of, of Tokyo. And every amazing French patisserie has a shop there. We would go buy a ton of different stuff. I would take it back to my tiny apartment, slice things in half, dissect them. I had this notebook where I would um, draw little diagrams, and then I would basically try to recreate things on my own. And in Tokyo, we had this tiny, tiny kitchen, and all I had was a toaster oven. And when the prospect of coming back home arose, we were sort of scratching our heads thinking, well, we're not going to have this. There's nobody doing this back home. All my friends were telling me, oh, there's this new bakery that's opening. you got to go check it out. And it hadn't yet opened. I was looking through the windows. So I hired him on the spot, and he basically never left my side ever since. They were doing all traditional French stuff, and then people started asking for kind of the banana cream pie and the brownies, and we started making that. And I think that's what makes our product mix so unique, is the Alberta pastries mixed with, mixed with the classic French stuff. I'm definitely my mother's daughter, so I'm never going to want to open a box of frozen pie filling or frozen croissant that I didn't make. That's not who I am, that's not how I was raised. And I really think the reason we've been so successful is that people can taste that we make everything fresh with real ingredients, that we do everything ourselves. When I was teaching myself all those years, I always had a really hard time finding ingredients. When you start with the high quality ingredients, it's easy to bake something beautiful and it's fun. Provisions was kind of a, my dream little store. So it's kind of my own little piece of heaven. <laughs> Cookbook has been a long time dream of all of ours. We kind of wanted to do something a little bit different, like what the bake shops evolved to be. Something that's more classic, traditional, almost heirloom. The book ranges from really super easy recipes for a complete beginner, all the way to more technical stuff. A lot of them are pretty much exactly how we do it and the same ingredients and everything that we do in the kitchen. You combine really good quality products, like the ingredients, and then you combine that with happy, skilled labor. People that want to be here, people that are excited to use the skills that they've been working on for years. And you put those two things together, and magical things happen. I mean, that's, that's what it's all about. It's been pretty hard to keep up with demand. We are limited with, you know, the space that we're in and the amount of pastry chefs that we have, but it's kind of our own chaos and we love it and we wouldn't change a thing. Everything that we put out every day is something that we're extremely proud of. And that's, that's the final check when I do the, check the case in the morning. I ask myself with every item, am I proud of that? <laughs>